Hello dears, welcome back. I hope all of you are fine in your home. Okay, what were we discussing? We were discussing the anecdote maternity. Have you read the paragraph that we completed in the last class? Very good. Excellent. And when we stopped in the last class, Mikali was sobbing desperately because life seemed to him so full of hurts. And are you ready to read, read the rest part of the story? Here we go. When he raised his head, a man stood before him gazing down upon him. Mikali recognized the Chinaman who often came to the camp to sell paper knickknacks and uh, charms which no one ever bought from him anyway. Often they mocked him because of his color and his skinned eyes. Mikali saw that he was looking gently down at him and moving his lips as though to speak. Finally the Chinaman said, you must not cry boy. Then timidly, come with me. Mikali's only answer was to shake his head negatively. He longed to flee. He had heard so many horrors about the cruelty of the Orientals. Yet the man remained there and did not budge. So, being in great distress, Mikali followed him. What more awful thing could happen to him? As they walked along, he stumbled weakly and almost fell with the child. The Chinaman came to him and taking the baby in his arms, tenderly pressed it to him. They crossed several empty loads and then the man took a little lane that led them to a sort of wooden cabin surrounded by a very small garden. He stopped before the door and clapped his hands twice. A few light steps inside and a tiny person came to open the door. Seeing the man, her face reddened and then a happy smile lit up. She made a brief courtesy to them. As Mikali remained there, Hesitatingly rooted to the threshold, the Chinaman said to him, Come in then. Do not be afraid. This is my wife. Mikali went into the room. Rather large it seemed, separated in the middle by a colored paper screen. It was also clean and neat, though very poor looking. In the corner, he noticed a wicker cradle. That is my baby said the young woman, cocking her head graciously to one side and smiling at him. He is very tiny and very beautiful. Come and see. Mikali went up closer and silently admired it. A chubby baby. But lately out of the darkness of the maternal body slept peacefully covered with a gold brocade clothes like a little king. Then the husband called his wife up. He told her to sit on a straw mat. Without a word, he sat down on her lap, the little famished one bowing deeply before her. The woman leaned over with astonishment and drew back the covering in which the child was wrapped. It appeared to her in all its skeletonic horror. She gave a cry, a cry of immense pity, then pressed the baby to her heart, giving it the breast. Then with a gesture of modesty, she brought forward a flap of her robe over the milk-swollen breast and the poor, gluttonous infant suckling there. Okay, dears, now you have listened to the full story of Mikali. And you might have understood the value of love or you might have seen the real love of a mother towards the newborn baby the brother of Mikhail and to check your comprehension to check your understanding I am going to ask you a few questions and that questions will help you to understand the story clearly are you ready to hear my question and answer to that okay 
when life seemed to mikali so full of horrors he covered his face with his hands and sobbed desperately and uh, when he opened his eyes he saw a man standing in front of him by looking at uh, mikali my first question who was the man who stood before mikali gazing down upon him i already said that when life seemed to mikali so full of horrors he covered his face with his hands and when he opened his eyes he saw a man in front of him and the question is who was the man who stood before mikali gazing down upon him who was that man yes you are right the china man who often come to the camp to sell paper knickknacks that man is a china man who come often to the camp of mikali to sell the paper knickknacks okay my second question is in what way is the china man different from the refugees how the china man and the refugees different from each other how yes physically his skin color and skin eyes made him different from the refugees he was so kind hearted and uh, gentle the china man was very kind hearted and uh, a gentle person he was a gentle man and he asked the uh, mikali to come with uh, him my next question why did mikali long to flee from china man why did mikali desire to flee from china man why yes he longed to flee because he had heard so many horrors about the cruelty of the orientals that's why mikali wished to flee from the china man but Finally Mikali followed the China man and both Mikali and China man reached the at China man's house there Mikali met China man's wife and their chubby babe and my next question is describe how the China man's wife behaved when she saw Mikali with her husband how the china man's wife behaved yes the china man's wife was happy and she made a brief courtesy to them she invited mikali to sir see her little baby sleeping in the wicker crib that's how Mik- uh, china man's wife behaved to the she gave a good courtesy to The China man sat down on his wife's lap the famished infant that means the brother of Mikhail What did the China man's wife do when she saw the famished infant What did she do when she saw the famished infant What did she do Yes you're right When she saw the famished infant she gave a cry of immense pity then she pressed the baby to her heart and gave it the breast in china man's wife we can see the real mother the real love and this is the story of mika i hope All of you have got a clear idea about the story of Mikhail. Here is a question for you. How does the story reveal the nobility of maternity? Send your answer personally. Okay? So I am going to wind up today's class. Today's lesson. and i will be back with another video lesson till then bye